Welcome to Brian's Board. I'm talking investor lingo again today. Previously, I talked about uh, convertible notes and presented a simplistic version of that. And today I want to expand upon it by talking capped versus uncapped notes. Recall from before that convertible note is a, a hybrid of debt and equity, and it allows uh, an investor to loan money to a company with the opportunity to convert that to equity later on. The reason they do that is because uh, the early stage company doesn't have that much of a track record. It doesn't have much to go on. And so a convertible note allows them to sort of procrastinate on a formal valuation. And for going in so early, that investor is often looking for some kind of compensation for the risk. And one way to do that is by including a valuation cap in the convertible note. And basically that valuation cap is kind of what it sounds like. It's, it's setting a cap in the agreement of a certain valuation, future valuation, but it's really putting a ceiling on the price per share of the, of the, future, um, of the of future shares. And so it's guaranteeing that early stage investor a minimum amount of equity that they can buy with their money. And as often is the case, it's easier maybe to show this as an example here. And so let's go to the whiteboard and start, start here. Round one is the early stage investor. And in this scenario, that investor is putting in $250,000 in the convertible note, but without any other stipulations for compensating for risk. And maybe 18 months go, goes by, the company's done well enough that they've attracted another investor there's enough now track record to do a formal valuation. And in that round, they've decided that this, this is, uh, company is worth $5 million. So going back to the initial investor, they're 250,000. That's uh, equal to 5% of that $5 million, which means that $250,000 can buy that early stage investor up to 5% of the company. Now, and that's an uncapped scenario. So let's go to a capped scenario down here. So that same $250,000, but when negotiating the agreement, that investor says, you know, um, we're not gonna do this, you know, we're not gonna do a formal valuation. However, I do think my $250,000 is worth 10% of the company for the risk that I'm taking and, um, and other things. And so I'm gonna set a, a cap, a valuation cap of two and a half million dollars so $250,000 divided by $2.5 million equals 10% stake in the company. And by putting that line in the sand, when a future valuation comes around, and again, here we have this $5 million from round two, I'm still saying I, I want 10%. And essentially what that's doing is it's reducing the share price of that future round for that early, early um, investor. And as I mentioned before, it's, this is just one way that uh, to compensate for risk for that early stage investor in a convertible note. Another way is the discount, and we will talk about that lingo a little bit later. Uh, this has been Brian's Board with CTC. Mm -hmm.